What's going on? This is Ryan from Sled and Side by Sides, and uh, we're back on the toy hauler. We've uh, had a little bit of change of plans, I guess you should say. I don't know, I don't know if you've seen the last video, but we we're talking about how we we're gonna make this uh, eight by eight wall and just do a whole bunch of really hard stuff. Yeah, I ditched that. And I live on a really busy road, so you have to deal with a little bit of road noise. I can't really do anything about it. But, uh, yeah. The ride was getting closer and closer. And, uh, just decided to kind of go a different route. So I've been working on it today. Got the platform that we're going to set the new setup on. And I think you're going to like it. Because it's pretty much a time machine. Not even gonna lie. It is the cleanest unit I could find. And I looked at a bunch of them. So I'm gonna have my wife bring it around so you can check this thing out. It's pretty BA. <laughs> Remember how I said I was going, wanted to go with something super light? Well, I found something super light. Found a 1988 StarCraft Meteor 8 foot pop up camper. <laughs> this thing is absolutely in fantastic shape. I'm basically the second owner of this. Uh, the people that I bought it from, it was their uncles. And they bought it from them used it like twice and this is pretty much set in a barn or a garage its entire life i mean the frame still super clean uh i mean it's just it's unreal man absolutely unreal just it's i can't even i can't even explain it to you we looked at no joke we looked at at least six of these small pop-up campers and uh they're all pretty much trash all from mid 2000s all the way to uh you know older ones like this this is an 88 but you wouldn't you wouldn't know it i mean it's just unbelievable still got the got the owner's manual got the original paperwork and we got an optional screen in porch that had never been used for this awning and party lights oh yeah and original party lights from 1988 which are <laughs> pretty awesome but uh yeah we were running out of time getting tired of uh getting tired of trying to figure out metal and where we're going to get to aluminum where we're going to get all this crap to make this room that i was talking about making and i got to the point where i'm super busy i'm always working so i don't have a lot of time it sounded good when i first started ripping this apart oh yeah we're gonna do this and this and this and then it wasn't <laughs> so we started looking for one of these and this is uh they call this an eight foot box pop-up camper it's pretty much eight foot to eight foot which we're gonna spin it set it on the front of this camper or on this frame and then just basically bolt it down so yeah but uh we're gonna get this thing popped up i'm gonna show you how clean this is there's absolutely no tears in the screen no tears in the canvas no anything the floor is still absolutely mint it's still black from from the factory when they painted it black it is absolutely unreal. No rot, floor's not rotted, nothing's rotted on this thing. Paid 1300 bucks for this. Screaming deal. Screaming, you're never gonna, you're not gonna find anything this clean. The people we bought it from, absolutely fantastic. The nicest couple you ever meet in your life. I was a little hesitant on telling them what I was gonna do to it because it was so clean. And uh, basically after I give them the cash, I kind of started telling them what was gonna happen and they loved it. They, they can't wait. They, they, they were they were super happy that uh, to sell it to somebody that was going to use it because this thing's hardly been used in its entire life. So uh, that was the main goal they wanted 
to see it go to somebody that was going to use it and love it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, it is going to pain me a little bit to cut the uh, tongue and the uh, bumper off. Not going to lie, because we got to cut the tongue, bumper. We got to pull the axle out from underneath it. So, like, once we do what we're going to do, there's no going back to a regular pull behind camper. Like, it's going to be done for. But uh, we wanted something in really, really good shape. And this thing is, I'm not kidding, this thing is absolutely mint. It's like a time machine. It looks unbelievable. So we'll get her popped up and uh, I'll show you guys. It's just wild. All right. This was a 1988 StarCraft Meteor. Pretty much looked like back in 88 because this thing is, like I said, it is absolutely mint. Mint, look. No tears in any of the screen. No really like mold spots. It doesn't even smell. Uh, it doesn't even smell old. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. No rips in any of the screens. Everything. Like, here's the, uh, here's the screened in porch. Never been used. Never been used. Right there. You can see it. We might try to use it depending, I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, oh, uh, bike rack. That bolts. That bolts to the uh, bottom back here. That little, the little two brackets on the bottom. That, uh, I found a, I found a uh, brochure from 88, kind of looking to uh, Google in these things. And uh, that's an option. That spare tire cover and the spare tire. That was an option back in 88. They didn't just come like that. But, uh, yeah. I'm telling you, the thing's in mint shape. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. There is basically no rust under here. The floor, still black. Solid. Which, you guys are watching this video. And you thinking about doing this and you've never really looked at campers you need to look them over really really well i already pretty much knew from the pictures that they had on facebook that this was exactly what they said it was but uh we went and looked at three before this one that looked decent online and they were pretty much trash by the time we got there one we looked at the floor was solid. You could tell it had a few rips in the screen. The price was, eh, it was borderline right. But once we got there, it's like, no. Then we looked at another one where the uh, super nice description, pictures made it look like it was like in super great shape. And they were asking a lot of money for it. They were asking basically $1,200 more than what I paid for this. And it was absolutely trashed. I put my hand right through the floor because the person didn't even, the owner didn't even know. Or he didn't let me know that he knew. But yeah, just you need to look these over very, very well. Mainly all the four corners on the floor. And uh, just it's usually where they rot. Usually sometimes too on these pop ups where these beds sit, they'll rot up in here because you're always getting some force and stuff but i had no worries with this i literally we showed up to look at this camper this is no joke i mean it's it's i showed up i walked in peeked my head underneath it to make sure the floor was as i said it was which it was and i literally got up off the floor and handed them the money right out of my like it was i didn't even hesitate I was there for less than two minutes before I give them the money. Like there was no no haggling, no nothing. Like we needed one. Uh, the weekend that I had, I had some free time, wasn't working. So we had to come up with something right then. It was perfect setup. Absolutely perfect setup. But no, no uh, delamination from any of this... Uh, wood covering this is usually just like a wallpaper or something and a lot of these older campers you'll see this start to peel they'll start peeling off the doors and 
I mean, very, we'll, very, we'll very little off. bit, but. And like right on the back of the, uh, you can kind of feel a little bit yeah. right there, but you can't even see it. We've seen way worse, way worse. This thing is absolutely, it's a mint shape. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna love the living crap out of this thing. We're gonna use the guts out of this camper. It's got, uh, it's got a full bed on each, side. on each side and then this uh folds down to a bed so you can probably sleep they say this sleeps six but you know i would say comfortably you're probably looking at maybe four adults three adults mm -hmm. comfortably yeah you could squeeze six in here but i mean you're gonna be cozy that's for sure but uh yeah, originally we wanted something with a bathroom so you take a shower and this and that. And we just got to the point where time was an issue. And we started cutting things that were that we didn't absolutely have. And this is what we came up, come up with. But, uh, yeah. This is what a uh, 1988 StarCraft Meteor would cost in 88. I don't know if you can see that. You might be able to see it. 3000 94 dollars with the uh upgraded awning or screened in room was 99 bucks so got the owner's manual got the owner's manual for a screened in porch i mean you don't find this kind of stuff the people that we bought it from he said their their uncle was absolutely meticulous with this thing like this took extremely good care of it which it obviously shows like you don't find stuff like this in this good of shape like this video it probably looks good on video but it, this video is really going to do it no justice of how great condition this thing really it's is it's so great it has a name Susie I didn't name it my wife did it's apparently Susie Starcraft Susie Starcraft wow so we're going to build a really cool toy hauler and load a really awesome Armax and you're going to name this thing Susie Starcraft. Or side by side Starcraft. Nah, it's already done. It's Susie, Susie Starcraft is what it is. But, uh, yeah. So, the next step is to get that on that. And we've been doing some measuring. I pretty much got it figured out. The only, the only thing that kind of threw a little hitch in the plans was I was I didn't think about which doesn't matter, but uh, where the uh, crank, we crank this up and down, because this is going to pretty much rotate, and all this, this front, is going to sit parallel right there, and the. the uh, beds are going to slide out like that because it'll just work better that way and we're going to have a 16 foot deck out the back here so our max will sit here camper up there and it's pretty much going to be awesome but uh yeah with the measuring basically what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to cut that crank off and then i'm just going to weld a nut and we're going to use a ratchet because the hole for where you're really going to crank it up is going to end up right here where this x is and the frame there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff in the way so basically we're going to cut the crank i'm going to weld a nut on it and then we're just going to use a big ratchet to ratchet it up and down so not using any power tools or drill or nothing like that because i don't want to break a cable i don't want to mess anything up with this lift system so I've been kind of searching. Supposedly you can still get cables and parts for these StarCrafts because they're extremely popular still. But uh, I don't want no issues. So yeah, basically I'm not gonna cut I'm not gonna cut the back off or the tongue until we get it on here. So I'm basically gonna rip the uh, axle out from underneath it and then we're gonna set it on here. And basically I'm gonna weld some uh, angle iron. And I'm going to drill a hole in it, and then we're just going to drill holes right through the frame. And we're just going to bolt it right to the trailer. So if I ever got to move it, or if I ever got to work on it, or whatever's got to happen, I can at least take it off, and it's somewhat easier to work on. 
but yeah man that's where we're at i'll tell you a quick story of how we ended up getting this getting this camper like i said we went down we looked at two we looked at three and we rode we drove hour and 10 minutes to uh basically look at the one that we were we were gonna buy i had cash in my pocket the pictures look good uh we were gonna i was i was ready to drop the dime and uh we got there and it was pretty much trashed so got in the truck i'm like nope might as well head back home we were bummed got home and then just started searching again just started searching on facebook marketplace like crazy i was searching on my phone my wife was searching on her phone we were just absolutely gonna find something the next day and uh it was about i'd say like seven o'clock saturday night she finds a post for this messages a couple and uh we get a we get a message like yeah they got somebody coming to look at it tonight but uh if it's still available they'll uh should they'll get a hold of us next day or to get a hold of us if he doesn't if he doesn't end up buying it we're like oh crap that one's gone like you could tell in the pictures like it was a little bit different had a screened in porch it was it was just we were bummed because we figured that it was pretty much going to sell so no big deal we looked at another one we were going to drive four hours all the way across the state basically in the thumb to go look at another one that looked like it was in pretty good shape didn't tell the guy 100 percent that we were going to go look at it or say if we were going to if we were going to leave uh we'd let him know and we couldn't get over there till like six o'clock at night so like now I wasn't looking forward to that one. It was probably what, 8.30 in the morning, Sunday morning? Yeah, about 8.15, 8 8.05 when she messaged me. It was 8.05, Sunday morning. Get a text, still available. Got somebody that's thinking about coming to look at it in the afternoon, but I told everybody that there's no holds, first come, first serve. If you wanna come down and look at it, you're more than welcome to come down and look at it and that was an hour and 20 minutes away from our house i told i told my wife i said messenger we got cash we'll be there an hour and a half we literally packed up jumped in the truck and i drove basically 85 ish i mean we made the trip in pretty much an hour because i didn't i was i was afraid maybe somebody else would show up or something because that's usually kind of how it works like you know if there's no holds it's first come first serve so i didn't want to get halfway or three quarters of the way down there and be like oh sorry you know it's sold somebody else bought it which you know it's it is what it is so yeah got down there it was in their garage and uh i walked up and within five minutes like i said pulled the money out of my pocket handed cash and that was it it's just kind of meant to be, man. It's a pretty cool setup. Like I said, people were super cool. It's just, it was pretty, it was a pretty wild two days trying to punt one of these down for the right price. I didn't want to spend, my, my, my limit was like 2300 bucks. I didn't want to spend any more than that. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys watching. Smash that subscribe button. And, uh, We'll catch you guys on the next one because we still got a bunch of work to do to this thing.